Hey, good morning, everybody. We are walking through downtown Disney right now, heading for California Adventure to start the day off. Uh, yesterday, we got a lot done, had a full day at park hopping, uh, doing a lot of new things that we haven't done before. Speaking of that, Anthony kind of surprised me last night. Uh, didn't know that he had made a reservation at Savi's workshop, and I got to build up my first lightsaber. And that was like such a cool experience. Something like I had no idea what I was even in for when we started that, and it was amazing. I took all kinds of video of that, and that'll be coming up in a video here shortly. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, we're just uh, almost up there to the park gate. So say good morning, everybody. We're going to ride some rides and eat some snacks, and we will keep you guys posted. Well, let's do this. Good morning, guys. You are watching Destination Good Vibes. I'm Jason. I'm Leslie. And today we're going to be going to California Adventure. Uh, we're going to be riding some rides, seeing what kind of foods we can eat, show you guys, explore. What are you excited to ride? What am I excited to ride? Wow. I love Goofy Sky School. It's so much fun up at the top when every you're going time, around those curves. Every time I ride that, I feel like this just might be the last time I ride because I'm just going to go off the edge. <laughs> This is how I die. But it's so fun. But you never do. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, I, I just want to do Guardians. Guardians all Guard, day. Yeah, you love Guardians. Guardians. Yeah. Uh, anything else that we're looking forward to today? Um, Lamplight Lounge. I think we're going to do Lamplight Lounge for dinner tonight, which we haven't yeah. done Lamplight Lounge since it actually changed to Lamplight Lounge. We did it when it was Ariel's Grotto, but uh, haven't been there to try Lamplight Lounge. We have reservations at, I think it's 7... 40 maybe so hoping we could maybe hang out there and see world of color but we'll have to see if we can time that or that not. would be awesome yeah. if we can yeah, yeah. Okay. all right guys so yeah we're gonna head out and we'll take you along and catch some good vibes yeah bye all right guys we are in california adventure and we just took a look at the app and saw that soren is back up and so Soren's actually been closed for a while now for refurbishment, and so we were a little surprised when we opened the app and saw that it was available. We made a quick fast pass, and we are heading over to ride Soren. We'll let you guys know how it is when we're done. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got to Soren, and as you can see, the scrim is still up, so they are still working on it, uh, but the ride is open, so we're going to go in and ride it. Which is awesome. See you guys soon. just got off Soren. It was so fun. I love that ride. Just the smells, like the grass and the, the smells of the Taj Mahal and the ocean. Those are so specific to that ride. And the minute you walk in, you kind of smell that lingering leftover smell. And it just, it gets you excited. And I wish we could bottle those and bring them home. But now we are on our way passing Grizzly River Run and headed over to Pixar Pier to check out Bing Bongs and uh, some, probably ride the Incredicoaster. Pick one, anyone. Okay, you get a choice of trading for one pin or both pins. You don't have to trade at all. Yeah, I'm gonna trade 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's awesome. You want to play? Yeah, I'll play one. Left or right? Whoops. I'll go left. And you can trade one or both or none. Uh, I mean, I might have to just pass on this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass. Okay. All well, right. Thank you for playing. Come thank back you. in a couple hours. There's a board on the counter inside. Oh, awesome. Thanks. Hey guys, we just got off Goofy Sky School. We just got off Goofy Sky School. We just got off Goofy Sky School. That was a blast as always. We got really lucky because right after we got off the ride, the ride shut down. There were people stuck on there and they're evacuating people. So we're kind of lucky we didn't get stuck up on there. Now we're kind of just heading around Pixar Pier. Uh, I think we're going to stop into Bing Bong Sweet Shop. We really like Bing Bongs. It is just a really fun store that's kind of different from everything else. Good vibes. Very good vibes. Um, yeah, so we'll show you around when we get in there and just kind of take a look at some things. All right, here we are, guys, at Bing Bongs. That was awesome. The Incredicoaster just went by. Uh, we're going to go inside and I'll show you around and give you an idea of kind of like what all is inside and available at Bing Bongs. What'd you find, Harper? Baby piglet. Baby piglet. It's very cute. It comes in swaddles. Like, yeah. Got a swaddle. That is a very cool shirt. I haven't seen that one before. I love Coco. Oh, here's Harper's section. Harper collects these babies. She loves these things. Of course, it runs on song power. Rainbow unicorn. Let's go check out Bean Ball, the man himself. He cries candy. Still have a lot of the fried merch out. Over on this section, we've got the memory refreshers, which are like slushies, but you can make all kinds of different combinations. My favorite of these is uh, the, oh, I'm drawing a blank on it right now. Which one is it? Yeah, the spicy one. It's the slow burn. That's what it's called. The slow burn. That's my favorite one. It's like a mango. Uh, spicy, like mango chili flavor. Super good. Lots of delicious treats. <laughs>
guys. We have been riding some rides. We did some Grizzly River Run, and we all got a little soaked. But still having a good time. It was kind of nice because it's a hot day. Uh, right now, we're walking alongside the new San... Or, what is it? San Francisco. I was saying it right. Uh, San Francisco Pier. And we're heading towards Cars and Radiator Springs Racers. Uh, we love that ride. And I think I'm going to record while we're on that one. Just take you guys along with us. We're going to win.
Disneyland. We are in the hub. Tons of characters are here hanging out, interacting with everybody. It's super fun to see. We are headed over to the Haunted Mansion. And the cool thing is the Haunted Mansion is actually having their world premiere today here at Disneyland, uh, at DCA, at the Hyperion uh, Theater. So they're supposed to be having a big event, red carpet, lots of celebrities showing the actual movie over there. And then I think that there were some of the stars from the film also here this morning. I think Jamie Lee Curtis and maybe Owen Wilson, um, maybe a few more of them, were here this morning promoting the Haunted Mansion as well. We did see a sign when we walked in that said there's filming today at the resort and had Haunted Mansion on there. So we are going to go ahead and head over to Haunted Mansion now. It's going to be a great time because the Haunted Mansion is nice and cool inside and it's pretty, pretty hot out right now. Well, we got over here to the Haunted Mansion and found out that they were doing the big red carpet event for the Haunted Mansion movie here in front of the actual mansion. So they're doing the premiere over at DCA at the Hyperion Theater, but are holding this big event right now in front of the mansion. There's uh, Sally Slater. I know Constance the Bride is here. I have seen Cruella, she's here as well. Um, several of the Disney villains have shown up. And one reason that they are doing this is the sag after strike happened and the actors, many of the actors that worked on this movie, and especially all of the leads, are not able to promote this movie in person. So um, this event is more of Probably fans, maybe production company. I do believe the director is here, but not a lot of the leads. So not going to see them walking the red carpet. But what a cool thing.
just got our drinks delivered here at Lamplight Lounge. And I'm not using a mic, so I don't know how great my audio is going to be, but we've got three 2319s and one falling in style. <laughs> just like that menu did. All right, drinks just came. I got the 2319. And that is a frozen mocktail made with strawberry puree, cream of coconut, and pineapple juice topped with Coca-Cola. So I don't know if you can see, it's kind of sank down here now, but it was kind of topped and kind of drizzling down. So I'm going to give it a taste. Oh, it tastes just like a pina colada. With it. Okay, it tastes like a pina colada with a twist. You have that pineapple coconut, but you can taste the strawberry and the coke, so it really is like a little different. Um, very sweet. I like sweet, but some people might think it's a little too sweet. But yeah, I think this is delicious. 10 out of 10. All right. Well, I have falling in style, so let's try. Okay. So, falling in style is minute made with, with mango puree. And you can definitely take the taste of mango, but it's mostly just a taste of lemonade. So, it basically just tastes like mango lemonade. And it comes with a little lemon on the side. Yeah. Rate it. I rate it 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. All right, guys. So our food just got brought to the table, and everything looks amazing. Uh, I got the lobster nachos. They look fantastic. I can't wait to dig into these and give it a try. Um, the lobster nachos. Just so you guys know what's included here. Warm lobster with black beans, aged cheddar, a kacha cheese sauce, butchering the cheese names, uh, shredded cheese blend, pico de gallo, sliced serrano chilies, and chipotle crema. All right, so let's dig in and make sure I get some of this lobster, some jalapeno on this chip. And see how this is. Thank you. That's really good. You can definitely taste the lobster. Jalapeno is spicy, so if you're not into spicy, you might want to order these without the jalapeno. But I mean, this is really good. I would definitely get this again. It's fantastic. All right, we're gonna dig into this burger. Why do I always pick the messy food to try? Hmm. <laughs> That's good. The Impossible Patty, if you guys haven't tried them, they're really good. I I prefer to not eat too much meat. And for people that are big meat eaters, you really wouldn't even know that it's not actual meat. So it's good. This has a really good, um, like, smoky flavor. It tastes like it was cooked on a grill. And then the pineapple is really adding to that. Um, I can't get the pickles quite yet, but... I'm sure they're going to be delicious. Several big pickles in there too. So, and the fries are fabulous. Love the fries. We really enjoyed our dinner at Lamplight Lounge. In fact, I'd even say that it was better than Blue Bayou. Uh, we just really enjoyed the food and the ambiance being out there on the dock. It was a great experience all around. Uh, so after dinner, the family decided they wanted to go ride Guardians of the Galaxy one more time. And personally, my tummy doesn't do so well with that ride. So when they like to ride that, I typically go for a walk around the park by myself and just check things out. And so 
as they all went to Guardians, I ended up finding my way into Off the Page, as I usually do, because I love that store. And lo and behold, inside, I ran into Disney legend Bob Gurr, who had just gotten out of the Haunted Mansion premiere and was just browsing in the store. So I got to go up and introduce myself and meet the man, shake his hand, and I got a picture with him. And it was the most magical experience you can imagine. Um, I want to thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and join us next time here on Destination Good Vibes.